Well, hello everybody. It's Gordon here in Glastonbury. Uh, actually quite near, very near Glastonbury, uh, standing outside an extremely interesting building called Avalon Priory. Yes, but this is a special place. What's it, why is it so special? It's, it's got a very long and interesting history, actually. Um, uh, it was built back in the, I think in the 1820s, in the early 19th century, by a uh, Freemason, I believe he was, who recognised the spot here as being an important centre of ley lines and other energy centres um, around the Glastonbury uh, landscape. And why you are here for? What am I here for in particular is to carry out a sonic um, clearing or a sound clearing, we sometimes call it. Mm -hmm. So what do you expect after the clearing? Well, the idea, what we expect after the clearing, the idea of these clearings is a bit like uh, the nearest thing that we could use to uh, illustrate it would be like it's to, it's to clear tired energy we'll say, we'll call it tired energy. It's a bit like opening a window and bringing fresh air into a, a room that's been cloistered and st stale air and um, to bring in fresh air into a, what was um, a kind of a stale air space. Thank you. Can you tell us the schedule, roughly the schedule for Mm, yeah, sure. The schedule for the event. Um, we've got, um, this is going to take place over several hours uh, today, starting shortly. And we will start with a kind of a sharing and a meeting and a greeting, whoever's going to be, be here, the small group or the larger group, we're not quite sure how big, um, uh, will be um, explaining the um, history of the building, some of the uh, interesting people that have lived here over the years, including most especially Catherine Mortwood, the rediscoverer of the Glastonbury Zodiac, mm -hmm. which is this amazing um, Zodiac um, inscribed in the landscape. And we will be um, having, first of all, a sound meditation, a fairly quiet focusing intention setting time, followed by a sonic procession through the grounds and the house, including past the well, there's a hermit's cave, there's a tower, there's various other interesting rooms, a chapel in the room, in the, in the, in the, it's kind of a mini castle actually. Um, so after the procession, we'll end the procession in the chapel. Um, where we will have a vocal sounding. We'll be doing um, vocal based um, uh, chanting and so on. Um, then after a break, we finish that off with a gong bath in the main largest space in the house. Yes, so uh, I hope that we have a very good cleansing here. So. Yeah, we, we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, I've done these cl cleansings, clearings, in, in many different places over the years, but this is an interest, very interesting one because it's such a landmark building that's kind of um, ready to be, have uh, new energy uh, brought into the space it, we, it, um, um, and um, to be reborn as a, as a, uh, as a, as a new centre for people to, to come visit when they're visiting the Glastonbury uh, sacred sites. We hope you enjoy uh, this video and um, the, please subscribe to our channel, um, press the notification bell adjoining it um, and press like.
So, what this says is about 63 years after the incarnation of our Lord Saint Joseph of Arimathea, accompanied by 11 other disciples of Saint Philip, was dispatched by that apostle into Britain to introduce the meek and gentle system of Christianity. They settled in the Isle of Avalon. We have the tour, the unicorn's horn, the ray of light, the chalice, right in the middle of the Holy Grail, the tour on top, and these figures, which are the zodiac, could be Aquarius or could also be Gemini. But it's a real reminder that Christianity started in Avalon, and um, the Gnosticism, the Esoteria, and just the ancient knowledge really has traveled to this land. And these sculptures there to remind us.